हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज कुणाल माथुर फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच ऑफ एम एल टेक भिलवाड़ा एंड हियर आई प्रेजेंट माय सेमिनार रिपोर्ट ऑन द टॉपिक ऑटोनॉमस कार यूजिंग एआई एंड एम्बेडेड सिस्टम सो या लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑटोनॉमस कार और ड्राइवरलेस कार और रोबोटिक कार और सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार साउंड इंटरेस्टिंग राइट वेल इट एक्चुअली इज एंड आई बिलीव मैनी ऑफ यू गाइज हैव वॉच टार्ज द वंडर कार मूवी दो इट वॉज ऑल स्पिरिचुअल इन द मूवी but now it's actually possible thanks to ai and embedded system so let's understand what embedded system and ai actually are and embedded system can be thought of as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it and can be used to perform a dedicated function or can be used as a independent system or as a part of a larger system ai as we all know artificial intelligence that is giving human brain or human intelligence to the machines it works by combining larger amount of data with fast iterative processing and intelligent algorithms allowing the software to learn automatically from patterns or features in the data so now let's understand how do autonomous cars actually work autonomous cars can rely on sensors actuators complex algorithm machine learning system and powerful processors to execute software autonomous cars create and maintain a map of their surrounding based on a variety of sensors situated in different parts of the vehicle radar sensors monitors the position of nearby vehicles video cameras detect traffic lights read road signals track other vehicles and look for pedestrians lidars that is light detection and ranging sensors bounce pulses of light of the car surrounding to measure distances detect road edges and identify lane markings ultrasonic sensors in the vehicle detect curbs and other vehicles when parking sophisticated software then processes all this sensory input plots a path and sends instruction to the car's actuators which control acceleration braking and steering hard coded rules obstacle avoidance algorithm predictive modeling and object recognition help the software follow traffic rules and navigate obstacle now coming to some of the disadvantages lidar is expensive and is still trying to strike the right balance between range and resolution what if multiple autonomous cars were to drive on the same road would their lidar signal interfere with each another what happens when an autonomous car drives in heavy precipitation if there is a layer of snow on the road or the lane dividers disappears will autonomous car have the trouble in tunnels or bridges how will they do in bumper to bumper traffic who is liable for accident caused by an autonomous car the manufacturer or the human passenger now despite some disadvantages there are also some advantages of autonomous car so the main advantages are the autonomous cars can reduce traffic congestion yes it can reduce up to 30% fewer ve- uh, 30% fewer vehicles on the road it can cut transportation costs by 40% in terms of vehicle fuel and infrastructure Autonomous cars can improve walkability and livability. Autonomous cars can free up parking lots for other uses. It can reduce urban carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide emissions by 80% worldwide. Now coming to the conclusion, even if the people's thought has not changed about the self-driving cars being safe, these cars are actually already safe and are becoming safer only. Only if they believe and give a try to technology, they get to enjoy the luxury of computerized driving. Driverless cars appear to be an important next step in the transportation technology. There are new all-media capsule text to your heart desires, and it's all safe. Developments in autonomous cars is continuing, and the software in the car is continuing to be updated. Though it all started from a driverless thought to radio frequency, cameras, sensors, more semi-autonomous features will be come up. thus reducing the congestion increasing the safety with faster reactions and fewer errors so guys here was my time thank you thank you all